By grooming your horse properly, your horse is 10 times more likely to stay healthy. I'm Christine Webster, and this is how to groom a horse. First thing I'm going to use is a curry comb, and you use that in circles all over the neck and the body. And the purpose of the curry is to bring up any dirt or loose hairs. With the next step, which would be your hard brush. Or your body brush and it has hard bristles and it is used again on the neck and body. You can also use it on the tops of the legs. The purpose of this brush is to brush away any type of dirt or hairs, anything that you loosen up with your curry. And then your third step is your soft brush or your finishing brush. And this brush has soft bristles so you can use it anywhere on the horse. You want to make sure that you get any dirt or anything on the horse's head so the bridle doesn't rub any sores. Try not to poke your horse in the eye. Most horses like to have their faces brushed because they don't have any hands to scratch their face. So when you do it with the brush, they appreciate it. start again all over the body and this brush places all the hairs back in place from your curry and your hard brush and it also picks up any oils that your horse may have on its skin and it recoats the hairs with oil. Next step would be to use your hoof pick and some hoof picks are made differently. Some just have a pick on the end. This one has a brush. It makes, it makes it nicer. Face the horse's tail and you're going to stand as close as you can to their body and you're going to run your hand all the way down their leg. That way you don't startle the horse when you reach down to grab their foot. And as you can see, her hoof is pretty dirty on the bottom. So we're going to go in a heel to toe motion with the pick end of the hoof pick and get out all the dirt. We do this to make sure there's no rocks inside your horse's hoof that could cause a bruise and also to make sure there's no puncture wounds, no injuries on the bottom of the horse's hoof. Everything on a horse is there for a reason and the purpose of the forelock, which is like their bangs, is to keep flies and bugs out of their eyes so they have correct vision and don't get any eye infections. So it's important to get any type of tangles or if there's anything matted in it out of their forelock so it doesn't get in their eyes. As well as their mane to be combed or brushed out every day because it also keeps the flies off of their neck, keeps them from biting and it protects their neck and when it's cold outside in the winter time provides extra warmth. And then finally you have your horse's tail which should be brushed out every day because the horse uses their tail again to get flies off of their body. That your horse is thoroughly clean. Then you are ready to tack up your horse.